And finally, I know there's been some delay, the Mechanum controller. You will have to excuse my frame rate. I'm recording a reasonably high resolution, so it's not operating at the speed that we might like. Let's connect the live view over there. Of course, now that we're using Mechanum, we can switch the character. And we can also pretty easily add other animations. For example, I've added the double jump animation there using one of Unity's animations. So how does it work? Basically, from any state, we have a transition which will transition based on the character controller's state. We have a guard on that, so we only do it if it's the first frame. And then we have special cases, such as ledge hang, the ledge climb where we move in a pre-specified way. Similarly, for example, in order to play the double jump animation, this transition into airborne and this transition into fall won't happen if you're in the double jump state. Instead, we have specific transformations from one state to the other. At the moment, I haven't tweaked the distances or the, sorry, the times for each transition. So all these ones coming out of the any state are just the default length. But you can tweak them to make them faster or slower, depending on your needs. Uh, ladder climbs are not in. Uh, main issue there is just that I don't really have an animation for the ladder hold state that matches the ladder climb state. So your hands don't quite line up. So that'll be an addition coming in the next few weeks, hopefully. Uh, one other caveat, the ledge climb animation doesn't uh, retarget very well because it expects or makes some assumptions about the character's height. Although I have had some success with some models just by changing an offset value. So once I finalize the best way to do that, I'll put up a little tutorial either in the forums or as a video. So there we have it.